Alright, so a quick recap before we get started. If you remember, I have a car simulator. I'm taking the camera feed from that simulator, feeding that into a convolutional neural network that's responsible for lane prediction, predicting the roads, etc. Um, I then take that output, feed that to another convolutional neural network, and this neural network is responsible for making the steering predictions. So that was trained to take the output from the first neural network and predict steering commands. So that's the basic architecture that I'm using and that I created. Um, now for training data, I am using hand-labeled images using frames from the camera that I've hand-labeled myself and I'm using that as the training data. Now let's take a look at the results so far. But before we do that, real quick, if you're considering buying a Tesla, please consider using my referral code. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if I end up winning a Roadster, uh, we'll work out some sort of compensation. The code's at the bottom of the screen. It's James26616. All right, so without further ado, here are the results, and you're looking at them. So on the left, obviously, we have the simulator running in autonomous, autonomous mode. This is the Udacity self-driving car simulator. And over on the right, you can see three different screens there. This, on the top is the input feed from the camera. The middle part, that is the what the neural network sees overlaid on top of the camera. And the bottom screen there, little window with the green, red, and blue, that is purely what the neural network sees. So remember, that's the first step in our neural network, right? That is the part that takes the camera feed and tries to predict the lanes and the road and even off-road. So the red portion represents off-road, right, where the car should not go. The green represents the road, is what the neural network is predicting, where the neural network is predicting the road is. And then the blue, which is kind of tough to see, but that is the lane prediction. Um, so now this output is then fed to another neural network, that, but that is predicting the steering commands. Um, now this actually runs for quite a while. I actually left this running by accident, forgot about it, and came back 45 minutes later and this thing was still going around the track uh, and steering itself. So it's, it's pretty cool to see and I'm, I'm pretty happy with these results. But I think the next steps and the next evolution of this is going to be using a new simulator and what you're looking at here is the Carla uh, self-driving car simulator. And as you can see, it's way more realistic. Um, the graphics are much better, the lanes, the road, everything. It's got stoplights, um, it's got other cars, it's got pedestrians. Um, you can even change the weather. So here you go, you have another uh, little bus coming down the street. Um, so I think I'm gonna end up using this simulator. And I'll start incorporating uh, traffic lights and things of that nature, and we'll see how far I can get. All right, so that'll do it. Thank you for watching.